what a very merry flows in. <laughs> and that's the twelfth time at a record use of the word congratulations to our Americans for bringing you to our way. Peter started with an excellent warm up. Warm -up. The word Peter is actually a misnomer in his case. Anybody who does crosswords will know the answer to the, to the clue running out is Peter. <laughs> Peter out. This man never went to that. Although he says he's leaving his role in a, in a month's time, we will hear much more and ever loud of Peter. He started on time. He impeached our one guest. The badges produced by Steffi were outstanding. I could read every one of them. I could pretend I recognized everybody. <laughs> Wonderful job there. And a great addition, great help to us all. The only thing that happened a little bit late was our three one oh, our three guests at the back who I'm delighted to welcome and speak to in the, in the interval. Uh, they wish to bring their son, and we will find a way of enabling that through going to his school, hopefully. So that was a lovely addition to the evening. Sinner, as our Toastmaster for the evening, excelled himself. <laughs> Letting out any secrets when I say that it was a controversial decision that somebody who has only delivered his icebreaker should then go straight in to being Toastmaster of the evening. It was a gamble. It was a gamble proposed, seconded, and instrumented by our worthy President Peter, wholly defended by him because he was certain that it would be a success. And my goodness, wasn't he right? <laughs> Sinner has a purpose smile. He never put a foot wrong until the very end of the evening when you forgot one tiny little thing about what was it you, you, you forgot to? You forgot the voting at the very end. You got all the way to the end. I was so thrilled you made one mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go through all the individual speakers uh, because they have already been evaluated. Uh, let's go straight to the evaluators. We had a very good workshop before the evaluations from Tony, and he stood in for David, who had was unable to come at the very last minute. That was a remarkable achievement to be able to deliver what seemed like a prepared presentation. And he took us through the Easy Speak uh, presentation as if he had been working on it for months, which to some extent he has because he knows the subject inside out. Nonetheless, and this is worth mentioning or pointing out to you all, it was a speech. You can forget that. You can lose sight of that. In the same way that you can lose sight of the fact that evaluations are a speech. They are as much a learning exercise in person as anything else. That workshop was outstandingly presented on a subject which, although it's called easy speak, <laughs> uh, it, it's not easy. And uh, I was fascinated by the use of the projector and it would have been nice to have heard a few words about what you were doing with the projector, and maybe Peter will be talking to us about that at the end of the evening, am I right? But uh, I will look forward to hearing more about the projector. At the end of each speech and each presentation and each evaluation, Sinner never said thank you. He had a different way of complimenting each person. And at the end of Tony's speech, he said, very useful and informative for all of us. And the variety of ways in which he was able to commend and compliment and express our gratitude 
for what we had just been given by the speaker up here was, I'm not sure who's told him to do this, but he's doing it beautifully. He's got the point. Ade on Sandy. Ade gave a confident delivery in, in his evaluation. He gave nice compliments, good compliments. Uh, he, uh, his, his, his suggestion, his primary suggestion to Sandy was he might have introduced another theme. Well, that's, that's, a, that's an opinion, and it's a perfectly valid opinion. Whether or not we all agree with it, personally, I, I like the way Sandy keeps his speeches simple and easy for us to understand, and keep, he keeps them in time. He also uh, he, he suggested, or, or maybe, no, I'm suggesting to add it. But when you speak up here, you have this wonderful confidence, and that glows. And the one thing, one clue that you're not quite as confident as you want us to believe, and you're right to want us to believe, the one clue is the speed at which you speak. And once I've pointed it out to you, I know that from now on when you come up here, you will speak like I am speaking now. And that will convince everybody that uh, you're really confident. And as I am convincing everybody that I am. And I'm just as concerned about being here as you are, I promise you. And the way I fool you is by speaking slowly. <laughs> Jill or Martin. Jill is a master at delivering evaluations. Before she greeted us, she, she gave us not just intriguing, insightful, and intelligent, but it was alliterative, I, I, I. And it's the alliteration, as well as the use of three, that lands, that strikes, that, that, that makes us sit up and listen to her. She used no notes. She talked about his strength, his planning, his, uh, his, his evidence, his eye contact. She talked about his slight breathlessness, which reveals his nerves. Uh, but he overcomes it, uh, compensates for it by his excellent eye contact. She went to all of these things. She then gave us the ways in which he could do better. And this is a little point I want to, to draw to everybody's attention. There is a constant use of this word, commend, recommend, commend. Now, in the Toastmaster manual, you'll see those words. It doesn't mean that we have to use them in every speech. That is what we should be doing. So, when we're commending, why not use a phrase like, what I think you did well was, as opposed to I wish to commend, or have a, commend, a commendation. Avoid the cliches, in the same way that we avoid thank you. But find another way of saying what you liked about the speech. And Jill does that. I wanted to see everything, she says. In the short about the flip chart and what she wanted to see. Then she described, don't talk over the play. She had lots of lovely, useful suggestions for Martin, and she delivers them so willingly, so kindly, that Martin has to want to incorporate them in his next speech. Uh, she, she did at the end ask all of us to thank Martin very much. <laughs> if I have a suggestion for Jill, it would be that I would avoid that. That way I would simply say to everybody, what a wonderful speech Martin gave us. Just as Sinner did for you, when you sat down, he said, that was a, he should be you, that was a masterful, real masterpiece. No, this Lewis, he makes more alliteration. <laughs> and that was outstanding. I'm not really a tongue in cheek or not, but <laughs> it made the point that I, that I, that I have underlined here. Tony on Andrew. He talked about the fable. Tony was bogged in the same way that Andrew broke the rules, and the rules are there to be broken. <coughs> the rules are there to be broken, make no mistake. He observed how Andrew had gone into a, a, an icebreaker with a very unconventional approach. And he said, OK, I'm going to be unconventional too. He's a big boy, Andrew, he can take it. And Tony did it beautifully. 
And he gave Andrew as good as Andrew had given him. <laughs> and it was thought. Whether or not it was done is up to you in the audience to decide. Personally, and I was <coughs> Andrew's mentor for this, I heard it, he rehearsed it with me, and I took the view that is Andrew. He is different. We like different. This is HOD. Don't be discouraged, Andrew. You keep going your way. We want more. We want more. More of you. <coughs> and Sinna, at the end of, the end of Tony's uh, speech, said, jolly good idea. <laughs> Didn't say thank you. Jolly good idea. Angela Lansbury on Nitty's outstanding table topics. She went obviously through each of the individuals. In several cases, she gave suggestions. For example, asking Angela Hook to open the umbrella. And interestingly, when, when, she, when she was uh, heckled on this, saying, oh, it's unlucky it's, it's to open the umbrella, Angela had an answer, bang, bang. The ability to think on your feet when you're on a platform is magical. Angela demonstrates that and did at that moment. Richard on the book, a philosophical question. She didn't give Richard any recommendations, but then covered that brilliantly by giving you all a recommendation. Copy him. Wow. That was impressive. And the way out when you don't have a recommendation or suggestion is a very clever idea. Ade on the mobile, I love Ade by the way, terrific guy, it's a came up with. She, uh, she said that he had three or four different things that he said. She's right to observe it, he's right to do it, that is the trick in, in, in table topics, to, to, to travel with the idea, keep thinking on your feet. When you get up here, you have one idea, by the time you've finished, you'll find you've, you've covered three, especially if you're Adam. <laughs> Elliot on the glasses. She didn't give Elliot any suggestions on the glasses. And that was a pity. Uh, on uh, Chris with the keys, she didn't give Chris any suggestions on the keys. And I was surprised because Angela is so good at giving suggestions. On, on, on Lily, she did give a suggestion, and it was a helpful suggestion. She said, don't let the question throw you. And she, she was right about that, Lily. And there's no need to feel sad about that, except that you missed the opportunity to give your son a push. <laughs> and next time, you'll give him a push. Uh, Sandy came up and did timekeeping, and he had his hand in his pocket. Hold me down, my goodness me. You were looking very confident, you thought. <laughs> now you went, you were looking slovenly. You had your hand in your pocket. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> Ryan gave great and funny ideas uh, as the art counter. Well done, Ryan. Brilliantly done. Do it again. <laughs> word on. You love the word on. That, that, is, that is such a gentle uh, beautiful way of putting it. Coralie is grammarian. The clever thing about Coralie as grammarian was she avoided my job. And that's the trick of being a grammarian. It's not the general evaluator. It's the grammarian. Well done, Coralie. Sarah? Do it again and soon. Believe it or not, you'll do it even better.